Hi, this is Steve Knetzel with Oxford College, and I'm joined by Julio Lara. He's the director of our medical laboratory technician program. Uh, thanks for uh, talking with us today. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, I guess the first question I'd like to ask is, what does a medical laboratory technician do? Okay, well actually first to, uh, before actually answering that, uh, the section one of the Ontario Regulation 682 uh, defines a medical lab technician as an individual who, under direct supervision, uh, performs a limited technical um, task, uh, lab skills that require knowledge. Okay, now for duties, uh, there's numerous amounts of duties that they include, but just to name a few, it would be like a blood procurements, uh, specimen uh, separation, uh, like for example, centrifuging, filing, and so on, uh, performing microbiology specimen uh, tasks like uh, streaking and planting, uh, including controls. You have uh, different bio, uh, microbiology uh, specimens, like uh, you, know, you have stools, you have urines, throats, and so on. Setting up anaerobic and CO2 jars. Uh, you have uh, staining uh, of smears, preparation of smears. So this is just to, to name a few. And for example, here to my right, I have some uh, lab equipment. So it would be very important for them to actually monitor and maintenance of the, uh, making sure that all the equipment's up to uh, you know, par with that. And a lot of this stuff would have be happening, they would be working in hospitals or clinics, things like that. Yes, especially hospitals, because in hospitals, because it's much, much, much more of a fast-paced environment, they have much more equipment, as opposed to a smaller private clinic uh, that would, uh, will have a limited amount of equipment. Now, I'm uh, squeamish when uh, everyone, anyone takes my blood, so I don't think I would be a particularly good medical laboratory technician. Uh, but what does, what kind of traits and skills would uh, a student coming in, what would be important for them to have? Okay, uh, well first off, uh, this program is for those, only those who have a drive and passion for healthcare sciences and wanting to help those in need. Now the type of uh, skills that they would require in this type of program would be excellent communication skills and interpersonal uh, skills. Excellent bedside manners, and um, you do deal with, with the public a lot. Yes, exactly. So again, coming up with this excellent uh, communication skills is very, very essential to this medical lab technician program. Yes, and sorry uh, to continue uh, answering your question. Uh, they must be able to multitask in a fast-paced environment. Okay, because for example, here in Toronto, we have a big name hospital like uh, Toronto uh, Sick Kids Hospital, uh, Princess Margaret. Just to name a couple, but again, these are well-known. Uh, healthcare institutions, which are relatively fast paced. So they, they would be doing quite a, uh, like a wide variety of different tasks in a yes. typical day. For sure, for sure. So and yeah, and again, if they're working in a hospital, you have different shifts, so they must be able to be flexible with those uh, shifts. Now, uh, the way you structure your program, there's a, there's a bit of a theory, and then there's practical way, which was done here in this uh, medical lab. Can you just tell us how that's all set up for yourself? Okay, well, the way I, I my day is structured is that uh, first thing in the morning, uh, I introduce the topic. Uh, so we do much more of a theory first off. And then in, near the afternoon, we go. I take the students into uh, this laboratory here. And uh, this is where whatever we talked about in the morning, we will apply it hands on. So for example, next module uh, being module number three, they are going to be exposed to hematology. So basically the branch of science dealing with blood and its components. And uh, so that would be the theory. In the lab, there will be uh, blood taking they call it venipuncture or phlebotomy. So then they, they're able to see the connection there and you know, really take the, uh, the information uh, and retain it. So it is quite important to have that kind of hands-on training. For like, sure. To be able to do it. Yes, yes, because again, it's just not theory-based, if not very uh, heavily weighted on the uh, hands-on practical skills. And like the final kind of question I had was just about yourself. You've been here about a year in this program you know, directing it. Um, what do you get out of uh, coming here every day and teaching these students? Well, I get out of this every day. First off, I like uh, the interaction with uh, people. Uh, I like, I enjoy, as opposed to just being uh, doing bench work and just being confined to a space and myself and the specimen. This way, I'm able to uh, all the practical knowledge that I've obtained uh, through the years, being able to deliver it in a uh, in a well mannered fashion for the students, and especially bringing uh, trying to make the information alive uh, for them. Because one thing is just you know. The instructor talking, another thing is you know, using a lot of uh, overheads, and illustrations, and so on. So the students like it that way. Mm -hmm. yes. and 
Well, well, thank you so much for talking with us. The, the program is a medical laboratory technician, and uh, if you're interested in it, you can find more about it on our website, oxfordedu.ca. Thank you again for talking. With us. No, thank, thank you for having me on this interview.